Hey folks, welcome back to Beefnopolis Horror Story. Uh, we are oops, continuing our playthrough of Astray today. Which is a game that I got off the Steam Summer Sale. That is, uh, what is this? Ah, that's what it is. Okay, that's that, that key we got the last through. Last time. Words, words. So, um, yeah, the premise of the game is we are, we have come to this abandoned museum of weird shit to check and see demonology. Okay, that's nice. To check on our weird uncle who has, uh, holed himself up in here and hasn't been heard from for a while. Now, if, uh, you were, were in on the, uh, mid-90s Sierra puzzler adventure point-and-click thing. Um, that premise might sound a little familiar to you. It might sound a little bit like a game called Shivers. Um, which is exactly why I bought this game, because I love Shivers so much. And, uh, it just, uh, the, the, them, them nostalgia feels. Okay, so we're uh, we're in the Atlantis exhibit now, and we have ominous music, and um, yeah. Oh crap! Um, how do how do I turn off flashlight? Thank you. Uh, yeah, we have a limited number of batteries as well, so um. Um, um, that. Oh shit. Okay, there's a, a missing bulb there, looks like. Oh, there's a, a shiny paper. Alright. Or a chalcum. Or a chalcum. I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but uh, whatever. Test. 25th of November, 1908. Dear Professor Walker, I'm writing to thank you for the splendid evening last night. I'm not usually one for all the supernatural nonsense, but I must say I thoroughly enjoyed my time there. The exhibits themselves were not only queer, not only fascinating, but gave an odd sense of the macabre. I especially admired the atmosphere you created with your sound systems. The dull drones and whispering sounds were positively eerie. I very much look forward to the grand opening and will no doubt be visiting it once again. Again, once your museum is fully complete, you're sincerely Baron Montague of Grimthorpe. Sounds like an Old Spice fragrance. Uh, you know, Wolfthorn, um, Bearclaw, Grimthorpe. What are these? Oh, shit, son! Oh, oh shit. Um I I should probably be very careful. I should be careful, I say as I um uh... Okay, no, nope. Nope. Uh chock full of nope. Can I can I Can I, uh... Okay, there's there's only so far I can, uh... Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave it be for now. Ah, corals and stuff. Alright, uh, I gotta find some more batteries. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta go through this dark room again. Yeah, I got the sprint. Okay. <laughs> I'm outie. Oh, God. So up until this point, um, there there has been no sign of any other uh, supernatural presence here. Um, it's just been me and the puzzles, and um, oh god, uh, yeah, that that is the first uh, sign of intelligent and possibly malevolent life we have seen yet, and um, it scared the piss out of me. So <laughs> but the. Uh, Oh 
Oh shit! Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, note to self, let's not do that again. In fact, um, I have an idea. Here, give me this. We're gonna take this with us. I don't know what exactly we're gonna do with it, but we're gonna take this with us. And um, maybe uh, use it as a shield? Hell, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even know. Alright. Okay, I, I don't think this is going to work. No, that, that ain't going to do jack shit. Okay. Alright, so obviously I've got to turn this steam off. Is there anything that I have missed? Or perhaps, here, I'm, I'm going to take it back. Um, it, I, I probably shouldn't have, have taken it with me. Uh, son, get off the table. Dude, get down. Ugh, butthead. Okay, can I have? Thank you. Alright. Um, ah, stairs. Okay. All right. Maybe I need to get up there somehow. But how how do you get up? Um Oh yeah. Yeah, just just throw that on the floor. Have I seen everything there is to Oh. Okay. Um What what do with dude off the table. Uh. Oh, unless I can uh <laughs> Okay. If, um, hear me out here. That's the jump button, right? Okay. I don't think I can jump from there. Um, there's got to be something I'm missing here. Huh, hey! Boing! Boing. Okay, I don't I don't think we're supposed to go. You know what? Um screw Atlantis for right now. Let's go check out the demonology room. Okay. Let's go up. Dude, don't even Because, yeah, when we're hearing scary noises, um, exactly what we want to do is go check out the demonology exhibit. That's right. Alright. We'll, we'll figure Atlantis out some other time. Staff only. Oh, hey. Let, let's uh, see what we can get into in here. Any uh, batteries? No. Uh, but there is a shiny paper. 13th December 1908. Dear Professor Walker, following last week's health and safety inspection, 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 I am writing to inform you of the egregious health and safety oversights I witnessed within your museum. All of these issues must be addressed before I can even consider giving you the green light to open to the public. Firstly, 
the elevators to the Atlantis ex exhibit and to the planetarium, both of which uh, were also in shivers, by the way, but uh, never mind that, must have railings at least three feet tall to prevent visitors from falling from the elevator while it's in motion. The same restriction applies to the openings left when the elevator is not present. Secondly, while I appreciate your des dedication to authenticity, I cannot allow open flames in a public place. Fair enough. As such, all torches, bonfires, and the like must be removed or replaced. Thirdly, I asked your engineer about the safety measures implemented into the various door opening mecha pickup mechanisms throughout the museum and was shocked to hear that there are none. Wow. These mechanisms absolutely have to be able to stop if blocked by a person or object. The same can be said for your elevators. Finally, all mazes should have clearly defined exits or staff on hand to guide the people through should they get lost. I must have gotten stuck in one of your mazes for the better part of ten minutes. Oh, ten whole minutes. Oh, you poor thing. Even more troubling, though, is that I have heard rumors of one of your early guest children becoming lost in the maze for hours and were actually lost, locked in the museum overnight. Okay. I hope you can appreciate that there's just no way I can allow the museum to open in this state. Please contact me again once these issues are fixed and we can arrange a second inspection. I look forward to giving your museum a pass next time. Yours sincerely, Anne Marshall. Wow. Okay. Um, unsafe museum. Gotcha. That's in here. Uh, you got electric lights and shit, though. In 1908, that's a... What, was that a thing? I think that was a thing. Uh, dude! Off the table! Get down! Uh, okay, so, um, never mind that. Egypt, uh, been there, done that. Oh! Oh god! What the entire fuck? Ho! Oh. Okay. Oh, there's another staff only. Oh, that's where I came from, I think. Okay, can I can I get in here to read this? Thank you. All right. Oh, there's there's a Okay. Move the chair. Here, let's put it in front of the door. 2nd November 1908. Dear Sir, I, Professor Rupert Walker, cordially invite you and your family to attend a private showing at my Museum of the Supernatural on 24th November. The evening will begin at 8 p.m. with refreshments in the main hall. Should you choose to attend, your family will be among the first to experience the museum's many fascinating exhibits. Though some are still undergoing work at this time, please RSVP by no later than 15th November. I hope you are able to accept my invitation, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Yours faithfully, Professor Walker. Anything in the drawers here? Okay. Okay. Um. Well. So that's, that's where I came from. So yeah, what the hell? Let's go check the demonology exhibit. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is charming. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. This is great. Turn the flashlight off for now. Can I, like, fling these skulls around? I got a feeling I don't want to step on this. I'm going to step on it. Uh, anything? No. No. Wow. Uh, fun for the whole family. Oh, no, that's a door. Okay. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, this is this looks perfectly safe to me. And I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, um, but uh, I, I see... Is there a... Can I pull a stick out of here? I bet I need to light that other bonfire. Can I have one of these torches? No. Can I have this torch? No. Is there a stick just laying around somewhere? No. Alright. Ah, but there... 
is an unlit torch. I'll just leave the flashlight on. Alright. Oh, a battery. Cool. Give. Get, nah, 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 give. Give me the battery. Give. Give. Thank you. Can I play with the drums? No. No, no, uh, rush drum solo in the museum. Dude. Thank you. Okay. So I need to go poke around in the. Oh, God. Go poke around in a skull's eye. Alright, that's that's fine. I I can do that. This one? Ah! Oh, shit, son. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Shiny paper? Professor Walker's diary, 27th November 1908. I received a letter this morning from Baron Montague that has left me quite baffled. No, not that the Baron actually enjoyed his time at the museum. Although I must admit this also perplexes me. Rather, the Baron made mention of strange sounds that he and his wife had heard around the exhibits and even complimented me on their inclusion. But I have no knowledge of these sounds. It's unlikely that any of the workers would have included such a thing without my consent. I must investigate. Uh-huh. Alright. Ew. Oh god. Oh, auto saving. Oh shit, son! What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Um. Don't shine your flashlight at enemies. Okay, thank you, Captain Obvious. Okay. Oh god. I, I, oh god. Yeah, yep, yeah, there's, there's somebody there. Oh shit. I ain't going that way. Uh-uh. No, no. Uh-uh. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I'm getting out of here. Okay, um... So... I'm not real sure I have a choice, though. Uh, cause... There's, like, nothing else... to mess with here. No, I can't really play with the, uh, magic circle. Nothing that way. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm afraid I don't have a choice. Um, wait, what was that? I, it looks like a Roman numeral. It could just be random. I think it's just random, but, you know. All right. There's a... Oh god. There's a puzzle that way. I've, I've got to go that way. Can I shot like just at the floor? Oh shit. It's dark as hell in here. I've got to be able to see where I'm going. Oh god, it's a maze. Oh god. There, there's a monster in here. Oh shit. Nope! No, 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 oh god. <coughs> oh shit! <coughs> oh, no, no, no. 
<laughs> oh, damn. Okay, um, note to self, don't do that again. Uh, okay, folks. Oh, now that I have good and thoroughly scared the shit out of myself, uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it a day and we will come back next. Oh, hey. I, uh, I missed a thing. Huh. Alright, where did you come from? Oh, you came from right there. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna call it a night, folks. And, um, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.